You guys are tuned into Straight from the Hunging Pit and on the couch right now we've got two That's lads right. which make up a small portion of Morehouse. How are we? Good man. Good, thanks brother. Good, good. Now uh, we're coming into summer and I know in December you guys have got something quite important coming up. So can you give us the details about what you guys are doing in December? Correct mm. man. Our album's coming out on December the 5th. Yes, I'm excited about that. We've been working on it. Can't wait. We've been working on it for about a year now. One year. A lot of tears. One uh, whole year. Crying. 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 Tears, crying. A lot of tears went into that album, so please buy it. Are these, are these crocodile tears? Are these tears over somebody that you guys might have liked? Is that where inspirations come from? Because that's what somebody loves you about. It's about someone special. Yeah, totally, man. That's and, yeah, yeah, making people feel special, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes sometimes life's hard, you know? Yeah. And yeah. sometimes we don't feel loved. We are bringing all-time cheese to the show today, but who did you guys work with mainly on this album? Because I know that Vince Hart has had like a good role to play back in the day with you guys, so who are some of the people that you worked on with this album? What's the name firstly as well? The name's called Morehouse, so it's self-titled. Okay, self-titled. Yeah. You go on, you say a few well, uh, stories. Well, how about, um, we've worked with um, Ginny Blackmore. Nice. Barry Southgate. Barry Southgate, Wow. Who came 10th on the Australian X Factor last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing. So, yeah. And I think I think Ginny and um, Barry have collaborated before. I've seen like a um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. cover I've done something. before. Yeah, yeah, say something. So yeah. what's it like in the studio with her? Because she is she's pretty much started from songwriting before she actually got into performing. Yeah, so she's amazing. How does she work? Is she just like riding away, genius? She's, she honestly just sits there and she's like looking <laughs> she around. She listens and, she's like, and then snap and then and she's, she's like, like, okay, that's nice. But I got <laughs> something far better. Look, <laughs> yeah. another version. And then we're like, yep, yeah, okay, Jenny, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Yeah, straight up. Man. But she's she's cool, man. She's really good. Yeah. yeah. Can you shed some light on what you guys have worked on with her? So how many singles? Give us some details from the album. It was just one track that we did with her. Yeah. Brock wrote the song predominantly. And yeah. Then, nice. And then um, Brock, one of the other boys. Yeah. He isn't here with us. No, this is to him. Mm, He's working tear. right now. Yep. <laughs> nah. But um, yeah. So she came in and tweaked a bit of the song around because it was actually about Brock's mum. Okay. They pass away. Oh, so Brock sad. Wrote it and it was quite specific to that point. Mm. So she's like, let's make it more generalized so that people can connect to it. Yeah. And so she did that really well. Yeah. But it was cool, man. Beautiful. Cool. It was like a day of just solid writing and went in there, recorded it, and it was pretty rushed. That'd be quite like, even though you guys, it's like a group of five, it'd be quite therapeutic to sit down and just be like putting stuff out on paper, wouldn't it? Especially yeah, when yeah, it stems definitely. from things like that, which is quite close yeah, totally, to man. home. Definitely. It is. Yeah. And it's, it makes it way more real, you know, when you're writing about yeah. something that's actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> when you're fake, I think you can tell when a song's fake. Like Hard. You've forced out the words. Yeah. Cool. And it's not really cool when you... Well, uh, before we get too serious with this one, because yeah. we're not doing 60 minutes right now. Um, <laughs> December, I, I'm not sure of the date, but you guys are doing the Pepsi Schools Out Tour, so give yep. us the details for that as well. So that's on the 9th of December to the... Um, 14th of December. Correct. Is that right? Yeah. Let's hope so. Yeah, so it's the 9th, we're in Nelson, the 10th we're in Christchurch, the 11th we are in Palms North, mm -hmm. the 12th we're in New Plymouth, mm -hmm. cool. 13th, Hamilton, 14th, Auckland. So if you're anywhere in those areas or anywhere around it, come on and say hello. Yeah, Sign just drive on in. And so they basically yeah. just need to go to your guys' Facebook page to pretty much see all those details. Is, yeah. is it that simple? Facebook, Instagram, my name's Rory McKenna93. <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling into a video which you guys have just dropped. It's called Somebody Loves You. Yeah, man. I want to know before we watch this video, um, firstly, what it's all about, but also if there's someone out there like a dream lover, who would that be? Because I could put my hand up and say Katy Perry. She would be my dream lover. So somebody loves you, that would be my dream. Who would be one of your dream lovers? You go first, Mary. Miranda Kerr. Yep, good oh, answer. Wow. She's beautiful. And she's just broken up with uh, Orlando, so she probably needs, you know, a good man. Sorry about it, E! News. <laughs> <laughs> and yourself? Um, Ariana Grande. Yeah. Yeah, ponytail or just straight? Well, that's why he's, you know, that's trying why to put this man up bun. For her. Before we roll into this video, please just tell us where it was shot. It looks like London, but I know it's not London. It was London. No, no. <laughs> we actually went down to Omaru and our friend, my friend who does video, and I was like, dude, come come along, yeah. see what we got down there. And it turned out there was this awesome street that looked like London. Exactly. And then we went to Christchurch, did some stuff there. Top of C1 Expresso. Yeah. If anyone, shout out to Christchurch there. Nice. But it's cool, man. Cool. We're going to roll into this video right now. They're going to imagine uh, that he's with Ariana Grande and Miranda Kerr, and I'm mm. going to be with Katy Perry. So enjoy this one. And now try and uh, imagine who you'd be with. <laughs> 